Let's go straight to our guest, Tommy Robinson, leader of the EDL. Tommy, who are you? Shalom, George. Um, as you just said, I am the leader of the English Defence League. Um, I'm asking I'm who you are first. Is that your real name, Tommy no, Robinson? No, it's not my real name. You know my real name, obviously. I don't, actually. I'm just wondering why you're calling yourself Tommy Robinson, if that's not your name. It's Stephen Lennon. I, call, I started off calling myself Tommy Robinson. The reason for that was because we were going up and opposing against militant Islam, um, a very extreme fraction of the Islamic ideology, which kill people in the name of Allah. And we're opposing them, bringing heat on them, and putting heat on their community. And automatically, they will want to take that revenge out on me. So originally, I started off um, hiding my identity, but now I'm proud to show everyone who I am and stand up against uh, it and hold my head up. So you're not, you're not in the same danger you thought you were? or I, well, I am. I am. Well, yeah, of course I'm in danger, but... Uh, it's but why, have you, why have you started to use your own name now, then? That's what because, I'm trying to establish. Because it, because, it was, because it was exposed, not by myself. Okay. Obviously, I, I, want right. keep my, I want to keep myself safe, right. I want to keep my family well, safe. Well, I, I, I honestly didn't know your real name, but I'm glad that you've uh, revealed it, because it's always better to talk to people in their real names. And uh, secondly, you, I said, who are you? What are you? You said you're the leader of the EDL. Who made you the leader? I made myself the leader. I thought, I, well, I, I, formed, it, I formed the English Defence League. And we formed it in loot and after the protest against our soldiers, and it's just spread as a phenomenon across the country, gaining support. So you, you, you made yourself the leader, uh, but you're a big supporter of democracy. Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. I've actually met you, George, in 2007, um, in Luton, actually. Um, I, I went along to a respect party. It was on Dalla Road. I don't know if you remember. I don't actually know. No, you, you was holding a meeting. I went along, I brought a bird with me, and we went to see what the respect party was all you about. You brought a bird with you? What, a parrot? Yeah, yeah, no, I brought a girl with me, and we come to, come to the meeting, and as we walked into the meeting, there was someone, someone stopped at the door, and as we were coming in, and they said, you need to sit this side, and you need to sit that side. And I asked them what they're on about. And I could see loads of Muslim men on one side, and loads of Muslim women on the other side. And I said, well, I've come with my, with my missus. I want to sit with my missus. No, 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 you can't. And I said, isn't your party called the respect party? Yeah. Am I, or am I, am I missing something? Because are you separating me from my missus when I want to sit down with my missus and listen to what your party's about? And there was another Afro-Caribbean man there who was kicking off at the same point because he wanted to sit with his missus. And that's when I just, in my, in my own view, thought what a laughing stock this respect party is and why the hell is it calling itself respect? Well, anyway. that, was, that was just about as big a pack of lies as you claiming that your name was Tommy Robinson. Because wow. no such thing has ever happened, it, ever I'll, happened, at any respect party meeting. But we're not here to talk about respect, we're here to talk about you. And in principle, in particular rather, we want to talk about the allegation by the police that your extremist, violent, hate-filled behaviour and rhetoric is fueling extremism in our country. What do you say? Um, I think that well, the police officer said that I've gone and counted the seeds. He didn't word it the way you've just worded it in any sort of way. I've, said, got, his, I've got his quotes here. Go if you on. want me to read them out, I will. Yeah, go on. Because I, I yeah. don't remember him saying a hate filled rhetoric. I, 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 don't, I, I listened to it, it this says, morning. Violence and intimidation are unacceptable wherever it comes from. You can't tackle extremism by being extremist yourself. You don't prevent hatred by being hateful yourself. That's what the police minister said. Okay, well, as I, as I said this morning when I spoke to someone about this, September 11th was our fault, 7 7 was our fault, the last 1400 years of Islam being at war with non Islam, that's our fault, everything's our fault. It's the work now. What do now, you know about the last 1400 years now, of Islam? Now, now it is the work. Your knuckles are dragging the ground. What do you know about the last 1400 years of Islam? Now, you know nothing about Islam. Now, okay, George, are you a supporter? Are you, you, want a supporter me to start, of you want me to start quizzing you, Tommy, because it'll embarrass you? Are you, you want me to start of asking you? Do I'm you asking you a question. Are you a well, supporter I'm of asking the questions for. No, I'm not a supporter of Hamas. You don't but slam. I what does that have to openly, do? Uh, Tommy, you? Tommy, 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 if I say something, I'll stand by it. You talk you? about the last 1400 years of Islam, about which I'm absolutely certain you are sublimely ignorant. You know nothing about the last 1400 years of Islam because your knuckles are dragging the ground. You're an ignoramus who describes women as birds and then as their missus, who calls himself Tommy but his name's something else, I and describe, I describe who's been accused by the police and the police minister of being hateful and extremist. Now, let me ask you a question. Why do you send your thugs 
into city centers to create havoc for the police, expense for the taxpayer, and leading to dozens, if not hundreds, of arrests because since the operation that you started. Because there's an Islamist epidemic across this country. Even, 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 even last week, there was a, a, a study throughout 12 universities, and a third of Muslims said that killing them was justified in the name of Islam. 90%... It's an epidemic. That we've well, waited let me stop you there, Tom. Which 12 universities held a study in which a third of Muslims said that killing in the name of Islam was correct, was acceptable. No, you don't have it because you're an ignorant wee nyaf. You're quoting a non-existent survey. Well, you're quoting a survey on national radio. 28% of them. I'll ring you back in a minute and find out how I'm getting No, don't ring me back in a minute. You've just made a completely false allegation about... 12 universities, and yeah. about the Respect Party in Luton, and That's about your name, and okay. about a conversation with me that you've never had. And you've, so, and you've just said you don't support Hamas, and I've just watched a video of you on the internet on YouTube where you openly say you support Hamas, so why would you deny it now no. that you're on the radio? Well, that's you another Hamas, lie. Not you said Hamas, that I'm not is, terrorist. You that said Hamas, is not, another you said, lie. You said Hamas, I'm not terrorist, did you not? Uh, uh, Hamas are not terrorists is not yes. the same thing as saying I so, support okay, Hamas. So did, you, did you say Hamas are not terrorists? Don't you think something no, no, George, calling itself... Answer the question, George. Did you say Hamas, Hamas are not terrorists? Hamas are not terrorists. Okay, well, okay, well, I'm saying the, it. Uh, can, can I answer? I'm saying can I speak? it. Shut up and let me say it. Hamas are not terrorists. Full now, can stop. I speak? Now, can I, I speak? I do not can I support speak? Hamas. Full George, stop. George, can I speak? Can I speak? Yeah. Yeah, go right. on. Hamas Charter. Israel will exist and continue and, until Islam obliterates it. That is the first thing in their charter. That is the first thing in their charter. You're saying they're not terrorists. Actually, the EU actually, to, no, no, it's one of that's the That's as accurate. EU, that's as accurate. Talk, George? Are you going to let me no, talk? No, not when you're telling but, lies. E no. E e e I'm not going to... The EU listed them as prescribed terrorist organisation in January the 26th, 2009. The Hadith, which features many times in their charter, it actually, your listeners will not believe this, but it has a thing which says, the final day of judgment will come when all the Jews are dead. This is in I, the Hadith, no. in the charter, I, I, and actually I, I, says, I, now can you let me talk, George? And it, it actually, well, it actually no, says... No, I'm not going the, to let you... No, but you're I'm saying not they're going, not terrorists. You're saying they're not terrorists. You've, no, said you, you've said that they're not terrorists. I, Listen, it's right, listen, it's right, it's we're not on here to obliterated. debate Hamas. Okay, if you want so to debate so Palestine with me, you better get one I don't, of your friends I don't want to, who actually knows something about it. I want to explain, you're saying, saying, I want to explain it. you're saying they're not terrorists, and what listen, I'm saying is you've only in got their about, charter... Tommy, you've only got a minute or so left, so p trust me, you don't want to waste it with a debate okay. about the Hamas charter. You want to talk about what, what, you're, why you're, we form really, the English Centre really We don't. form the English Centre because Islamic extremism is spiralling yeah, out of control in this country. That's what I want to ask country. you about. That's okay? what I want it's to ask you about. Spiralling out that's of what I want to ask you about. If you'll stop and let me ask you about it. You say you're against Islamic extremists, but the truth is you're against Islam. You're against Muslims because you march against mosques in which there's no extremism at all. Your people chant slogans against Muslims, whether they're extreme or extremely moderate. So why don't you come clean, like you've now had to do with your name, why don't you come clean and say you think that Muslims shouldn't exist? Oh, I, I have Britain. no problem with Muslims. I, I have a problem with Islam when it's taken in its 7th century barbaric form in modern Britain. That's when I have a problem. And I have a problem with Muslims not doing enough not doing enough against the extremists. If you just, can you just let me talk and finish without butting in? Muslims fly planes into the Twin Towers. No Muslim outrage. Muslim, Muslims block the exits of burning schools with children because they've not covered their hair. No Muslim outrage. Muslims cut, up, cut, up, cut off the heads of three teenage girls. No Muslim outrage. Muslims that was well, in Iraq. That well, was in Iraq. Just let me that, say, Muslims yeah, kill eight tourists. We're talking about the English no, Defence okay. League. Yes, we're yes, talking this, about Britain. You not, you're you, whipping you're up hatred. No, you're not no, going to no, 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 I'm not. Why not? Because, you're, because why? you are deliberately I'm, conflating no, I'm, no, no, events no, in Iraq I'm is, I'm with events about in Britain. It's not just Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up and let me finish. Muslim, Shut up and let me truth. finish. No Muslim outrage. You now, I'm talking, are, George. This is a, you're, no. you're, you're, you talk, and then I, Muslims attack our troops. Muslim burn our poppies. No Muslim outrage. Someone draws a cartoon of Muhammad. 700 people killed. 54, 45 churches burned to the ground. Someone talks about burning. 
Someone killed 700 Trump. people killed where? Out- 700 well, people killed most, where? Most of them in Nigeria. Worldwide outrage. Worldwide We're talking out- when, about when is it? the English... When is it? Yeah. When will is you it? shut British- up? Will when you shut it? up and let me talk? We're talking about the English Defence League. The presence of Muslims in England, or if you like, in Britain. Don't keep talking about things that happened in Nigeria or in Iraq. We're talking about the presence of 1.8 million Muslims in Britain and your campaign against them. The police say, the police say that you are causing more extremism by the thuggish, ignorant, violent campaign at which you are the self-appointed head. Now here's your last chance to tell us why the police are lying about you. We are a symptom. Why don't they tackle the cause? Because everyone's too afraid to talk about the cause, the root of the problem. We're a symptom. We would not be here if there was not militant Islam in our towns and cities. Why don't someone talk about the problem? Why don't you talk about the problem, George? We're not the problem. We're not, we've only come about because there's a problem. But the police say you are the problem, though. Okay, but why, they, yeah, but they don't. why are the, the police, police lying the police about you? Too, because they're petrified of the Islamic community, the same as everyone else is. They're worried oh, about the what police they're... are petrified of the Islamic community. Everyone's, everyone's, uh, everyone's out of step except we, Tommy or Johnny or whatever his real name is. So why don't anyone Thanks talk very about the much cause? indeed. That's the leader of the English Defence League, Tommy Robinson, though it's not really his name, and he made himself the leader.